Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Getting ready here to do your love reading for the continuation of May. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please be mindful the messages are general, okay? So, um, Virgo, hold on a minute. I'm just getting a message here. Besides just getting a message here, um, I'm seeing um, a red car on the side of the road and someone is trying to fix a flat or change a tire. Um, this looks like a highway and um, they're by themselves. It's, um, it's a male by themselves um and i'm hearing um <clears throat> they not answering the phone they can't answer the phone because they're not the, the phone is in the car and they're outside of the car trying to repair this tire um changing a tire like on the side of a um a highway a, um you know a, a major interstate road here okay strange message but anyway um so take that with a grain of salt i don't know if that'll resonate for you in some way but it, it's it's kind of like um there's a lot of phone calls coming in to this person and they're unable to answer and they don't know that the phone's ringing they're focused on something else okay um yeah so if you want to get a personal reading from me there's a link in the description box below if i need to post an extended reading to this the link will be below the video. Okay, let's get started. So Virgo, you've got cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. Okay, so this could be, um, for some, this is maybe like obsessive thinking, obsessive thoughts. This could have um, playing a mixtape. I don't think people use cassette tapes anymore, but hey, playing a mixtape over and over again, um, or a playlist, something to do with a playlist, um, thinking about someone, someone's thinking about another person, and like the, the tape keeps looping, memories, thinking about something or someone over and over and over again, okay? Um, and these are old memories, outdated thinking. So these are like old memories, you know, like an old 80s mixtape kind of thing. These are old songs, old memories. Um, these words and this interaction or these memories are part of um, a prior conditioning uh, cycle, I feel. Okay, that's interesting, but we'll see. And just on a simple note, somebody may have given another person a playlist of their favorite songs or, um, you know, whatever would be on a playlist, something that can be played or listened to or watched over and over. Okay, so let me see here. Okay, got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. This feels mostly like somebody is um, reminiscing time, when times were good. Thinking about how it felt like paradise. How there was a oneness, how there was a period of time where two people really enjoyed one another. Um, it was a happy time, I'm hearing. A lot of playful energy, and, and I feel like somebody is re remembering and thinking about these, these times from so long ago. Okay, what else do you have here? Oh, wow, yeah, you've got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness passion, affection, and attraction. So, hmm, very well. <clears throat> um, I'm not exactly sure who this is. This could be you, this could be another person, it could be both. Um, but this is thinking about when times were great. And do you, re I'm hearing, do you remember when times were great and we were in love and we were happy? Isn't that a song? Do you, re do you remember the time when we fell in love? I'm here. Okay, so now we're channeling Michael Jackson over here. Um, yeah, something going on there with that. Somebody's thinking about that. Um, 
when someone gave another person their heart or said I love you um, can't stop thinking about that that particular space the particular time period somebody's thinking of how they were truly in love with another person they really they just keep I just don't oh, it's cycling you know it's on loop it's on a loop okay so let's let's take a look here and see what's going on who is this person what is going on here what's the energy the atmosphere what is the energy here oh my goodness the four of wands okay so a celebratory time a structure foundation a, re a relationship it's the 11 11 feels like when we were together and we were happy is what I'm hearing when we were together and we were happy we had something to build upon here there was something here we were just beginning to frame things out we were framing out the house that Jack built maybe somebody's name is Jack or John we were framing out the house and we were going to then put the walls in and or you know get the plumbing and we were we were going to really start building this home together and I don't know if that's just an energetic thing um, the foundation was already there and and now we were framing it out or this actually a house a time when we started building our home together our relationship it could you know definitely resonate with like a relationship this might have been a really long time for some of you. This might have been before the advent of the CD. This could have been a time when it was when cassette tapes were out. Thinking about the marriage or thinking about the family life or the structure of the home life when things were good. Um, and for others, it's, it's just symbolic of, you know, having these love messages on loop, consistently on loop. So... Oh my goodness, you know, sometimes spirit talks to me and let me tell you what, the high priest, the hierophant, this could have been a marriage or when there was structure and conformity in, um, or there was the, the opportunity. Somebody's thinking about, I feel like how it was going. They, somebody felt like it was going in that direction. It was heading that way. And they keep thinking about and asking what happened this felt like paradise was it too good to be true is that why things fell apart what happened there was peace and we were retreating and it was just me and you and it was a renewal I, somebody felt rejuvenated in this connection um, it's like they had a place to rest their head so this is memories of that and this is coming up where somebody is in this position here could be a Taurus where somebody is this is it could be happening right now and it's continuing on through obviously May we are in Taurus season as well this is a very fixed energy like you know um, when we're building a foundation you know we're fixing the foundation into the ground so that it can't move it can't be rocked you know this is building a strong um, you know not a, it wasn't a house made of hay it wasn't a house made of wood it was a house made of brick and mortar and brick and stone um, and I don't I feel like somebody is just thinking it's it's more so thinking about what could have been is what i'm hearing what could have been and this is the energy coming up where these thoughts are just occurring somebody's thinking about you and it feels like so does it feel like a past person yeah um it doesn't does it mean anything not necessarily it's just i'm picking up somebody's energy here for some of you could be you thinking a lot about the past when things felt great when things were good okay oh and there you go 
Um, so, oh, sorry, you guys. I know how that. I, when I when I'm done with this reading, I'm gonna fix my my thing here because I don't know why it keeps doing that. Probably because the setting is off. But anyway, Knight of Wands energy. Um, that you've got somebody here who's, you know, they're thinking about how there was all this passion and how we rushed in, I'm hearing, but I'm also hearing and seeing this person rushing in to try to claim that. Okay, wow. Ten of Cups. Who is this? Most of you, I know most of you in my live chat there, or I can just see you. No, 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 no. I know it. I know it. And... You know, that's fine. We've got Ten of Cups in the Sun, Aquarius energy. Um, I'm sorry, the star. So healing. This is somebody who very much loves you. Okay. I'm just hearing um, they felt like you completed them. <laughs> you were that you were it for them. You were the beginning and the end and then the beginning it's like everything stopped with you for this person family children or the potential for that and i feel like this person is going through some kind of healing process or some kind of healing change you know there's renewal this person wants to renew this connection they've got some inner clarity here they know it'd be like a freaking miracle if you would take them back um this person though they do have faith um they see you and and no one else okay they see you and no one else virgo right um there could be somebody here who's in the spotlight or in the public eye um, or that's how they view you you know it's like when you're looking at the north star and you stare long enough at it all the other stars just fade away and i feel like um <laughs> Wow. Now, I know some of you are like, I never had a relationship like that. Okay. Well, maybe this is not your story. All right. Um, maybe this is just for you to just, you know, listen and enjoy um, and be happy for somebody else if this is the direction they're going. But this is a very strong, you know, the, the major arcana of the high priest and the star, both of these together without the other cards means healing and conformity, healing, and focusing on um, following the, the rules. I hate to use that word. Um, I feel maybe I want to say um, the traditions of a committed kind of a relationship, you know? But let me pull a couple of... Um, clarifying cars show me the high priest okay yeah look at that interestingly enough four of cups in the reverse so this is definitely like um, no more of that poverty mindset for sure somebody definitely had a poverty mindset um, you know um, there the five is change and uncertainty, but this is also realignment and realigning with um, some type of marriage or relationship that it feels like somebody left you out in the cold here. Okay. Caused a lot of worry. Isolated you. Um, somebody might have been ill. Had an ill an illness a spiritual illness that's what i feel like this is um i'm just hearing somebody saying well you know it's just a piece of paper it doesn't really mean anything um it's a very straight you know i'm having a hard time connecting i don't know if it's connected to this person that's um trying to fix their car that i said about in the beginning of the reading but there's definitely a healing of some kind of spiritual belief system or coming into alignment in the future with you but rushing in with this night okay and maybe you guys had something in common in the past with the 80s or the 90s 
Okay. That's just such a, a, a strange message. And um, somebody maybe lives in a city that's called Paradise. Or um, I don't know. They're saying, okay, well, Paradise Island, of course. But I, I'm seeing, you know, there's sun and there's palm trees and there's water. You know, there's an island. Okay, let me see. Show me the sun. All right, the moon in reverse. So clarity, big time, big time clarity. Um, you know, Virgo, I don't know who this person is, but I feel like either you were married to this person or in starting some kind of a relationship with them in the past. Um, or you're currently in it with this person now. There's something here where whoever this person is, is reminiscing it feels like reminiscing about what times were like in the beginning and wanting to heal that and get back to the playful energy i feel like things got very serious but i feel like somebody here really loves you you know and is very passionate and physically attracted to you so we have piscean energy as well but this is healing and clarity and knowing now somebody saying I know what I need to do I know what I need to do okay I know what path I gotta I know I gotta heal something and I feel like somebody might have been um unaware of you know it's very cloudy their mo their emotions they they weren't in tune with their emotions um so the truth is being revealed to them, and even in their dreams, this person is getting uh, messages in their dreams, and I feel like they're dreaming also about you. Um, they see you, and you're, you're, they keep having dreams about you, and that could be that, you know, loop, that messaging. They're conditioned to you. So perhaps the time that you spend together with this person, there was so much time, it's it's like you are burned into this person's brain are they obsessive i mean obsessive thoughts possibly or like i said it could be you but this is you are you are they are conditioned that 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 their default thinking goes right to you no matter whatever else is going on in this person's life okay um so i feel like i'm spying and i'm taking a look into this person's um psych here or their spiritual you know what's going on with them but i'm i'm definitely feel like this person is going to be coming toward you um all right let me see what else show me this knight of wands okay oh yeah king of pentacles in the reverse definitely coming towards you um but as an energy the king of pentacles in the reverse is very greedy so this person is um Greed can definitely connect with, I want, I want, I want. And I do feel like this person, they don't want you with anybody else. That's what I'm just hearing. They, they don't want you to be with anybody else. So they're, they're can they be a little obsessive? Yeah, um, but they don't, they don't wanna share you with someone else here. At, at all uh, I don't know if you guys are in separation let me ask what's going on here mm. okay three of cups you might be communicating with them right now there could be um, other people involved there could be dating you might be dating um, nine of Pentacles but there is nothing serious going on elsewhere with this person um maybe just chit-chatting because it's a three and three can represent um communication or union okay um so i do feel like this person could be talking to others you know but they're on their own and honestly virgo you know you heard me talk about the nine of pentacles which is the virgo card um look at those three maidens there and then look at you right here I mean, nothing compares to you. And this person, I feel like, might be just passing the time. But it's you who they're dreaming about. And they may even be purposefully talking to other people to get you 
off their mind, but it's not doesn't seem to be working. Okay, because you're it. You you are it. You showed up, I think, yesterday with the Nine of Pentacles or the day before, and you keep showing up that way. Let's see what else is going on with this person. Okay. Okay. There's a Queen of Wands that this person is waiting to hear from. All right, maybe you have fire in your chart. Maybe you're on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Um, or this is somebody else that they're making a decision about. Let me take a look. Oh. 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 Okay. They're not, I'm sorry, I, they, they're telling me now, they're not waiting to hear from another person. This per, your, whoever this person is in this reading, they think you're already with somebody else. They think that you've already found your match and they are seeking to find out if you have somebody else right now with the lovers, the king of uh, wands, the queen of wands, and the two of wands. This person's standing at the crossroads. They want to approach, but they are like, they're thinking that you're also at a crossroads and you're not sure if you want to return to this person. That's what they're thinking because I'm looking at them. They think you you're, you found your match. They think that you've met your love, that you've met somebody else. I don't know why they think that, but that's what's going on with them. I feel like they might be reaching out to you and waiting to hear you say, I'm sorry, I'm with someone else now or I've remarried or um, I'm in a deep committed relationship. Did I say that's Gemini energy there? Okay, somebody's on the cusp of Taurus, Gemini. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got the devil and the high priestess in the reverse. This person's obsessed with you, Virgo. That's the thing. They are. They're addicted to your love. They're addicted to you. They can't stop thinking about you. What the hell happened? What happened, Virgo? Virgo, what did you do to this person? <laughs> they can't stop thinking about you. The high priestess in reverse is clouded judgment. You know, they're not seeing straight. They can't see straight. The, the more that their thoughts, maybe even having dreams that you're dating, others um deep fear and anxiety coming in with this person um they can't think straight it, it's like a toxic energy within them that they may have that this is that you're you've moved on is what i feel like is going on here Whew. that's some heavy duty ish heavy heavy duty um They're blocked. They can't even, like, their intuition, they're just, all they keep thinking about is, you know, oh, Virgo's, like, in a, a sexual relationship with somebody else. Virgo's connecting with another person. There's jealousy and envy. And I think I said envy in the beginning, didn't I? Or jealousy, I think I said. Um... Hold on a second. Yeah, I think I did. This person has a hard time following through, but they, they're, they're trying to follow through now. Um, there's a lot of jealousy. Their thoughts are like killing them. That cassette tape, the looping around, looping around. You know, you were paradise to them. And I don't know what happened if you guys split up or went your separate ways. You're still talking, but there's nothing happening. Hmm. Yep, they think that you've got um, someone else communicating with you. You're not talking to them, and, and they think the reason you're not talking to them is because you have somebody else. Um, and, of course, no one, uh, none of us here know why you're not talking to somebody um you know why you're not communicating with someone but this person thinks um that it's because there's someone else you're entertaining 
or someone else that you're interested in and the obsessiveness of their thoughts are coming to the surface and I feel like this is where this person is realizing now that um, you are I feel like it maybe you at perhaps at one point they didn't see you in the way they're 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 envisioning you now it's just pedestal energy it feels like pedestal in their mind they've got you on this pedestal and they think that you know they're not good enough for you and you're going to find somebody else there's your six of cups or that you're with someone else right so this this loop of past memories constant reminder constantly thinking about you um being nostalgic you know, and, and wanting some kind of a reunion. You might even receive a gift from this person. Let me see. Is Virgo going to be receiving? You'll get some flowers, that's for sure. Um, Virgo receiving some kind of a gift. So in your yard, wherever, if you have a yard or some flowers somewhere, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing like red and white flowers. And a really big, beautiful home. Somebody lives in a very big, beautiful home. I'm going to try and... Um, or somebody has a well in their yard. I'm going to try and um, pick up some extra messages here. Um, hold on a minute now. Okay. All right, well, this... They're saying, I mean, this probably could go for so many, but somebody has two cats. It's not three cats. It's not one cat. It's two. Two cats. One's orange and white, and the other is spotted colors, like tans and grays and blacks and you know, brown. Um, and somebody has a slingshot, they're just saying. Somebody has a slingshot. Or does something with a slingshot I don't <laughs> I'm not sure what that means so the king of cups is here um, very deep feelings deep emotions um, not showing emotions but with the six of cups next to it this is um, very sincere supportive energy and it, you could be connecting maybe there's a water sign in your uh, past or in your life here this person is um they just can't stop thinking about you i just feel that's the message they can't you're like on you're on loop you're on a loop they're thinking about all the good times so if something ended uh, romanticizing with the love card here all of the good times the passion the affection the attraction thinking about you non-stop right okay Ten of Wands, Four of Cups. Hmm. So this person, uh, they're just seeing this person's burden of uh, not of either having options or not being able to be emotionally open or feeling like. It, so they're saying the burden this person carries right now is the unfulfillment in love. Now, maybe this person is just thinking about you and reminiscing. Yeah, they're going to reach out. Um, this could have been from a very long time ago. Um, I, I'm not so sure. I'm going to do an extended reading to see like what actually is going to occur with this. But I'm, I'm not so sure... Um, if this person is just reminiscing and wants to see you or connect with you one more time or to find out if they were even anything to you they might be reaching out or coming your way or you know let me see how's this person going to reach out to reach out to Virgo hmm 
Tower reversed. Oh. No swords. Some of you already feel, you know, energetically. Maybe there's like um, telepathy or something. You can you can already feel that this person is speaking to you energetically. Some of you are already getting those downloads or those messages. And for others, um, they're coming in swift. Okay, so this feels like it could be communication okay um they're going to be talking to you first so i do feel like this is going to be um it's not going to be a surprise showing up at your door kind of thing it's going to be more or less communications using communicate like um virtual communications phone call talking um because this is a card of a fast talker so talking and texting um phone calls that kind of thing commun that type of communication how they're going to come in first okay interestingly enough though with the tower in reverse um This person is going to come in swiftly because they're in desperate, they're in desperation mode. They need this security for themselves. They fear that you're, you're completely gone. They fear that you've moved on and that's it. And there's no coming back. And I feel like they're coming in to find out <clears throat> because they keep getting these dreams. You guys might be, you know, in each other's dreams as well. And I feel like this, this is just this great fear that something's done, that this is over, okay? Um, and it's pretty heavy duty for this person. Okay, Six of Swords reverse, Page of Swords, oh my goodness, even watching you like a hawk. This person um, has been stagnant, unable to move on and somehow, in some way, watching you like a hawk. That page of swords reversed. I mean, usually when then that's in the upright, you know, this is curiosity. Well, they're looking, watching to, to, it's almost as if they're seeking, like I said, to find out if you're with someone else or um, they're seeking this bad news because I feel like this person won't approach if there's somebody else in your life and this is what they're trying to find out okay six of uh, swords reversed is like not making any moves this is just being stagnant and stalking watching wow this is heavy heavy duty um, now it's interesting in the beginning of the reading that person I, I see that they fixed their car and they're heading down this road now um, and they're going really quickly they're 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 driving very fast and the way I know that is because I see the overhead green signs or exit signs that are just whooshing by very fast. This person's, that red represents um, a siren, alert, passion. Um, it's very close to this Knight of Wands, you know? I mean, this person is, go is like coming at you like crazy. Um, and as a matter of fact, they're just showing me um, looking at their phone and seeing um, a fo some phone calls, um, but bypassing those phone calls and calling or texting you. And the message they're texting is, just so you know, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I don't even know if that's connected to this, but I'm hearing I'm on my way. Um, I got had a problem with my vehicle but you know um or you know messaging you and and it's almost as if i feel like you know they're coming somehow you know or you're expecting them and i don't think it's because this person is saying to you hey i'm on my way or letting you know they're coming i think it's almost as if you're speaking to each other somehow and they're replying to you as if you already know it's such a strange message. 
It's such a strange message. I'm just hearing they've, they're de they've been delayed and now they're on their way. And they'll say that. They're on their way to you. You might get like some kind of message from this person. Um, I'm on my way to you. It's very passionate. Oh, shit. <laughs> then you get the nine, the Knight of Cups. Here you go. Hmm. There's a proposal coming in. and um, I don't know if they found out you're with someone or not. They have a lot of anxiety, but I think they're going to, you know, uh, it's, it's what's driving them to come in this direction. It's not scaring them. Um, they're stagnant because they're definitely trying to find that out. I don't know that they're able to going to find that out. There might not be any information about you, but whatever's going on, I feel like this person, for some of you, the reason they can't find out is why they're coming, okay? And they're coming with, you know, a love offer here, Virgo. Big time, big love offer. And it's just, it feels, it feels very much like out of the blue. This is just... It's like unexpected, the actual actions here on earth, but telepathically or energetically, like, you know, you, it's almost as if you guys are speaking to each other on some higher level without actually talking to one another. It's, it's craziness. It's craziness. Let's see how this person feels about you. What are their feelings towards Virgo? You are the best thing in my life. So I guess the were is past tense, so there must be some kind of separation um, between you and this person, or for some you are still with this person, um, but haven't been connecting. And this is what this person is going through. I hid who I really am for, from you, okay? So they weren't showing their, their true colors. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay. I left you before you could leave me. So this person might have um, bailed on you in the past. And then you bailed on them. Or vice versa. But this is not really vice versa. This is... I mean, you you might have been the one that left before they could leave. But whatever it was, it's it was like a past tense thing. Like there's a separation for sure. And this person, I regret lying to you. I've been burying myself in work to forget you. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I can't stop thinking about you. I wish I could share my good news with you. What is that good news? What is this good news? This person's coming in. Oh. My life has not been together as, it, as together as it seems. And I want to be more than friends. Hmm. This could have been a friendship. This could have been an unrequited love. Or it was just a kind of a friendship. And this person had hopes or high hopes but never took action or did anything. And now they are. I replay our conversations over and over. Oh my goodness. Well, that falls right in line with this cassette card. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in their head. Okay. So that's definitely... Look at this. I can't pick these cards up. Hold on. We're having a malfunction. That's appropriate. Malfunction. Okay. So that's what's going on here. This person is obsessively thinking about you. Okay. Replaying these conversations over and over again still. Um, thinking about the past like an old playlist uh, mixtape okay this is crazy this this is craziness okay let's see what the romance angels I'm really picking up unrequited love and something that just didn't work out let's see what your love messages are from the romance angels Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. And express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. 
playfulness. Okay, that's definitely, you know what? I feel like this is, this person was feeling, uh, there was something going on in the past where it was unfinished. It feels like it was unfinished. Um, there were some romantic gestures that were made in the past and some kind of playfulness. Um, and that's what this person just keeps overthinking about the love that maybe never got anywhere and didn't get to where it could go. Um, and, be, and it mostly feels like it's because this person has some kind of control issues. Yep, they're saying some codependency perhaps. Um, maybe there was addictions involved. It could be your side, it could have been theirs. Okay, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there's a holiday coming up, holiday here in the US. I kept saying May 30th, um, that's Memorial Day. So maybe that weekend. 27 28 29 30 there could be something somebody's on vacation or holiday of some sort there'll be a getting together or they're telling me the honeymoon we never got to go on something fell apart okay flirtatious energy between two people you know virgo i mean listen worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life this definitely could have something to do with the timing obviously the honeymoon and the flirting and the being together isn't going to happen unless you allow it like i always say can things be healed yes if two people want to heal it but they both have to want to heal that is this person coming in with bloody stumps you know what we're gonna ask because i have never asked that question using my tarot cards so we're gonna ask is this person coming in with the bloody stumps or are they coming in with that whoa look at that that's a yes They're coming in with that big old surgical knife I'm gonna cut off them legs absolutely that that's what they're saying yeah they got they're ready they got the sword out you know <laughs> and they're ready to show up whatever you need them to do they're gonna do it now you want to take that you know um go ahead if you don't then, you know, click off the video and move on, right? But this is definitely, I feel strongly. I've never, honestly, I've never had that happen before. We've been talking about bloody stumps for a year now, and I've never truly asked what that meant um, or how that would show up in a reading. Um, it's almost as if you might say to this person, you know what, Kelly said, <laughs> and then you hand them the knife <laughs> this is such a morbid gross virgo typical virgo reading right horror story and all and you know i don't watch horror movies so maybe i just have that morbid stephen king thought process you know stephen king was a virgo right you guys know that right um but it's like you, you like the the knife appears the sword appears and you're like oh you are you're willing to do that okay here you go Here's a knife. Here's a sword. Get to work. Get to stepping. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, I do feel like, you know, this person's, it's, it, we're always talking about, oh, yeah, this is what they have to do. This with it. No, they're willing to do it. They're willing to do it. All right. Let's get a couple of um, extra messages here for you. Um. I, I'm sorry. I'm changing my mind. I'm not going to do the extended reading. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not doing it. Um, because I feel like uh, when I asked if this person was going to give, come in with those bloody stumps, I mean, if somebody's willing to do that, then, then it's in, it's in the bag. So I feel like that's the energy there. Okay. Although I might make a couple of extra videos and just upload them there for anyone that wants to um, purchase. Um, they're very, very inexpensive. They're like 11 bucks. Um, and maybe I'll do some like soulmate or twin flame videos and stuff that is just specifically for you. Okay. Not for all of YouTube here. You know what I mean? So you just just keep your eye on that link. It's on the it's on the my Gumroad account. The link is underneath, and I do have other readings there as well um, that you can purchase if you're interested. Let me see other messages here for Virgo. Okay. Wow, 
got the sun and you've got love. Get out of here. Um, okay. Your perseverance is rewarded, Virgo, and true love and fidelity. Okay. Look how beautiful these cards are. Leo energy as well. Somebody's, um, okay, they're just saying, okay, somebody's a police, police officer. And also, um, oh, I'm seeing a beetle. I'm, I'm hearing Egyptian beetle. I'm not hearing, I'm seeing Egyptian beetle or dung beetle. And I'm also picking up um, a political party. Someone stands with, uh, and I hate to say this because I one time mentioned a, a political party because I, it just was a message that came to me. It was during the TRUMP years. And OMG, I got blasted on my other channel so bad just for saying his name. And it was just a message that was coming in. I got blamed. I got so, people were attacking me. And it's crazy. And not once did I ever say, I don't put my political affiliations here on, like, the, come on, give me a break. Um, but I am feeling um, uh, somebody is a supporter of the red caps, I guess I want to call it. Okay. And I don't, I don't, that's just a message I'm getting. Okay. Um, and I'm not for or against, I'm not saying anything about it at all. I don't have an opinion, but somebody, and you, you will know who your person is. If that's your person, that's your person. Okay. Um, but they're a supporter of that. So I guess I would lean more towards, um, the far right, Somebody's a far right leaner, I guess that's what it is. I don't know, I don't really know them all. Okay, but there's love here. If it's not that, then that's fine. But there's love here, definitely. And whatever you've been working on or whatever, like some type of per perseverance in, in your life to heal, to be have more positivity and joy, you know, all that's paying off here. True love and fidel fidelity, because I do feel like there's, whoever's coming in here, is coming in with that true love and that like commitment and that no lies, no cheating, no games, that kind of thing. You know, I know some of you listen, I know some of you are like, well, my ex person was, um, you know, the, the big N word or was spiritually disordered as we like to call it, or they were abusive or whatever. Um, you know, I don't really know what to say about that. I know there could have been like addictions or um, a drug or alcohol addiction, stuff like that. Do people heal from those things? They do. Do they improve their lives? I've seen it. I've witnessed it. Um, people wind up, you know, getting clean and sober and starting their lives over and they stay clean and sober for 30, 40 years and they, they completely turn their lives around and, and it's a miracle. It really is a miracle. Um, and I think you have to maybe look at yourself and say, well, if it happened to me and I was able to heal, is it possible? But you know, I believe in miracles. That's all I can say about that. I do. Is it possible that this person, if there was something, some kind because the devil card was there, if there were addictions or some type of bad behavior, very bad, very severe, um, some of you may have just, you know, you got a lover, someone that, you know, two people fell in love and sometimes life happens and something happened and like a deep partnership fell apart because of third party or addictions and somebody's getting healed and is doing better now and wants to try to see. But I, I do feel like this person, <laughs> I don't know who it is, but they are like crazy obsessed. Like they can't stop thinking about you, you know, and, the, and they're so concerned that, you know, you've moved on. Okay. That, that's really the strongest message I've got here. All right. So let's take a look and see what your what other messages there are here for you, everyday messages for the rest of May 2022. Everyday messages. What else does Virgo need to know? Because that was love. That was definitely love. Okay. A loving older female. I feel like she's going to be um, significant in your life in the next couple of weeks, the next few weeks, I want to say. Okay, so that would be water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
this is a female because it says female it's not a male okay so it could be a friend um, so there might be a little bit of financial loss be careful um, they're just saying about Bitcoin scams I just heard that um, I'm not going to go into detail about that, but they just said, be careful of Bitcoin scams or someone helping you to increase and make more to turn your Bitcoin into like make a cash or something. And then um, they want money to do it. I don't know what that means. It's some kind of slush. They're giving me the word slush, something slush. So because that could give you a huge financial financial loss. Okay. Also, you have, oh, you can do this. Courage and strength. Again, this is a strength card. So you're working on something. Um, physical strength or fortitude, emotional strength. Um, fight back by not fighting, they're saying. Just stand your ground. So I feel like be in um defensive mode not not offensive mode i don't know what that means but uh be immovable immovable um you're you must be maybe some of you will feel like you've got something going on and you need to get strong in some kind of situation here and you need to be like an immovable force right feet firmly rooted into the ground okay your thighs your legs your your trunk very steady and very strong okay um it feels like brace yourself <laughs> brace yourself i don't feel like it's really bad because i see you here being a winner in whatever this is um i don't feel like it's negative it's just something that it's like when you're standing in the in the ocean and the wave comes you know waves aren't necessarily bad but you have to balance and steady yourself or the waves will knock you over okay hey speed and travel hmm we well, are definitely so that's what i was saying it's good news it's coming it's going to be so good that it knocks it will try to knock you off your feet you know like um if you imagine someone who just, you know, wins like a sweepstakes or something, and then they're like, oh, they just pass out or something, they lose their balance, they steady, it's good news. So, you know, it could be money as well. Um, but this is travel. Some of you might be getting, going somewhere, you, you find out, maybe you win. I'm feeling sweepstakey energy, like your prize or you win a trip somewhere. Um, or some of you get that degree that you've been working on, or you receive some type of accolade or award. Um, hmm. I mean, this is quick change. This is like, I feel like a lot of you, um, are not expecting, you're waiting for something, but you're not expecting it to come in until later. And all of a sudden you open your email or you check your, your, you know, you go out to your mailbox or whatever. And there it is. And it kind of knocks you off your feet. Okay. Knocks you off your feet. So, you know, stand strong. Okay. You've got a new chapter here with the world. So this is definitely completion, a cycle, completing a goal or a lesson. Some of you might be finishing school. You get your immigration papers. Uh, something finishes here okay um, done traveling the world and settling down now or beginning this new adventure of traveling okay whatever you know uh, it could even be as simple as finishing a book or finishing like you're finishing something here okay and now it's like It's like some journey you've been on, I feel. Okay, so you've got head of household. All right, so, hmm, you might have a father figure who's giving you advice at this time. It doesn't have to be your father. It could just be someone who's like fatherly. Um, it could be a brother or, you know, whomever. Um, there's a, a, a very influential male in your life who is maybe a mentor or someone that's helping you with some something. OK, 
okay? And helping you to take charge of your masculine energy, all right? Um, whether you're feminine or masculine, okay? And I feel like um, helping you to be strategic with what you're doing so that you have the most gains and results and the effects are um, good, okay? So, and they were just showing me like a fitness trainer, so I don't know if you're working with a fitness trainer or someone who's mentoring you and is really supportive okay you've got committed love relationship and moving to a new place so this is some energy i was feeling in the other reading that was coming up of course you don't have to take it but there's definitely um a committed love relationship coming to you where you may be moving okay sweet text message so you know you're going to get some type of communication from somebody where you may be moving in the future i mean you could be moving in the next couple of weeks but you might not be you might be moving further down the line okay um moving in together with somebody for some maybe buying a home together that energy definitely can be playing out all right let's take a look and see what your chinese signs okay Virgo's Chinese sign, the other person's Chinese sign, um, or both together. Okay, so we've got the year of the goat. Let me just put these here so you can see it. Okay, and the year of the rooster. Okay, and the year of the tiger. Okay, the year of the snake year of the pig and year of the ox now if you're not here or if your person's not here don't worry about it okay these are just um, for someone who needs a little more clarity in regards to who their person is or what the year of their their Chinese sign is you wind up could be both of you showing up here um, so, for example, if someone, if, if you're born in the year of the pig and the pig is here, it could be you. And if your person's also born in the pig year, it could be both of you. Okay. Um, I know that sounds kind of vague, but you'll know. You'll get that sense. Let me get a couple of moonology messages. Did anybody catch the eclipse on Sunday? I went outside to see it and it was so overcast. There were so many clouds. I didn't, I couldn't see it. And I wonder if anybody here, let me know if you caught the eclipse, because that was uh, that was pretty powerful. The blood moon. All right, let me see. What are your moon messages? Okay. Surrender to the divine. <gasps> Full moon. Wow. Some of you did just that, didn't you? You surrendered. You put everything out there with the full moon on the 16th yesterday didn't you i know someone someone here did um i think the full moon energy is done now um the answers you need are coming okay so this is full moon and gemini there's a lot of full moon energy here oh okay i know what they're saying when we had that eclipse, a lot of you harnessed the energy of the full moon eclipse and did the whole letting go thing, okay, with the full moon. The next full moon will be in, I think, October, I said, eclipse. So that's, for a lot of you, that's what I was saying when I felt like that energy was going to be really playing out or you're going, things are going to be revealed to you by September and I know some of you are like said I, I can't wait until September well don't <laughs> I don't care what you do you do what you got to do um however for those of you who are like you know I'm on this path of healing anything worth having is worth waiting for right and some of you are in that energy like I'm good I got me I'm not in a place of need I'm not in a place of lack Okay, I have myself, I'm happy, I'm joyous, and I'm free. And if September is going to be it, then September is going to be it, right? Because if you're in a place, listen, I say, if you are, if you're in a place of need, it's a grasping of straws kind of thing. It's like a drowning man will grasp with straws to keep himself from drowning. Straws are not going to fucking save your life, okay? But when you're in such a desperate place of need, 
you're going to grasp onto anything and whatever is available and it may not be good for you it may not help you at all so i feel like for a lot of you you're getting in that place where you're like you know what let me fulfill myself first let me make sure that my ship doesn't have any holes in it okay let me make sure that i'm in a better in a place to accept healthy options healthy choices and not anything that's going to um bring benefit to my life like grasping at straws there will be no benefit to that you will just sink okay what's this card oh separation time apart from your partners on the horizon some of you might already be going through that right i think we were talking about that so you are in a separation at this time even like i said even if you are together there is a not togetherness there is a lack but i feel like that's going to change because someone here is just they're inundated with dreams of you and, and thoughts of you and um they, they just can't lose you that's what i'm hearing this whoever this person is they just they can't lose you all right let's see i'll give you a couple signs and i get a couple of birth dates and i'm going to get some charms i feel like my readings are getting longer and longer all right what the hell is that hold on oh it's a rose okay and a butterfly is somebody name somebody's name is rose are you looking at some roses are you are there's a rose street or you live in a, a city called rose or something to do with rose maybe you'll be receiving a rose from someone we have an owl we have a frog this is like a um Amazon rainforest frog. Oh, we have the arm. You have the arm, and you also have, I don't know what the hell this is. And that kind of scares me. I'm going to leave it sit for a minute because I'm not sure what it is and come back to it. All right, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries. Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries. son of a Capricorn Libra and Pisces I drop these things and then they're like gone I'm gonna tell you it landed on okay it's Sagittarius so we're gonna leave it there okay again with Pisces Taurus Cancer and one more Capricorn, there's Sagittarius, Virgo. Okay. Oh, and they're saying do it one more time. Oh, goodness. All right, Sagittarius again, Gemini, and Cancer. Oh, and then there's Scorpio. All right. Let's get into your numbers. March 17th. I just said March 17th. Okay. So we've got 1969, um, somebody's 46, somebody's 38, okay? Somebody is 40, somebody June 14th, 20th, um, somebody is 42. I'm going to give you some um, other numbers here, okay? July 1st, July 12th. Okay, somebody is born on August 30th. Um, September 16th, somebody is 41. September 12th, um, somebody, uh, birthday 1963. Um, September 7th. Someone's 55, okay, or the, the age, I just have the age 55. Somebody's born December 1980, okay, September 18th, 1999, 
um june 12th okay um 1965 1991 september 1st okay um hmm in november somebody will be 50 i keep getting 96 1996 did i say september 18th i feel like i did um October 2nd, um, somebody's address is 106. Address, they're giving me, someone likes old Van Halen, and they're giving me 5150, or the number 5150. I know that's a Van Halen record title, but I don't, I, but that's what I know. Right, I'm just picking up Van Halen music. <laughs> I don't know if some of you are like, who the hell is that? And then um, I'm hearing 5150. Um, I'm also getting 318. These could be area codes. I know not all of you are in the United States, so bear with me. Um, I don't know if you have area codes, but if that number resonates for you wherever you are. Um, 318. One zero, I'm getting five one one, um, six three nine, five zero five, and six one zero. Oh. Okay, let's go to the charms. That was very interesting. All right, so we already I already brought you the rose, so there was something here with a rose connected to maybe a name or a street or a pronoun, not a pronoun, but um, a noun, okay? Something to do with rose. And then we've got this Amazon rainforest frog, the kind that has those little suctiony cups that hold on to things. So maybe you're looking at that or you saw one or you maybe you have one in your house um, somewhere. We also have this beautiful butterfly. So somebody wears a butterfly charm around their neck, I'm hearing, a butterfly charm. Also an owl, okay? So with the om and the owl, I feel like this is a meditative practice that someone does, um, okay? Um, or is from a country where that is very significant or a place or an area where that's a very significant practice. Um, it's a practice somebody here though is doing it for wisdom seeking wisdom and clarity is how I feel and this thing now listen and you know I try to show you guys these things but they're they're hard to focus and see so I can't really tell you all right I almost had it let me see if I can it kind of looks like like it's like two hearts with a little strange face on it or a little face that's popping out at least that's what i feel like it's like an maybe an alien or something but um i'm hearing the first thing i got when i just picked this up now was a clatter ring if you know what that is a clatter ring so it's kind of like an irish wedding band um with some with a heart on it and a crown and two hands holding it but it so it's something similar to that it's it may it doesn't have to be that but it kind of looks like that in some like I'm seeing a ring somebody it's like a special ring right and it's it's not generally used anymore um, but there could be some kind of ring that you receive or that you have um, maybe it's put away, maybe it's getting taken back out again, or maybe you're just looking at it where it, it's symbolic or someone has one of those rings where it's symbolic. It means something. Okay. So I'm going to leave your reading there. Yep. I feel like that was enough messages for tonight and we're over an hour a little bit, but I really appreciate you guys um, being here again and helping me with my channel. And I did reach out on my community tab and I, I announced the winner and she has not gotten back to me. So I think it was Marian Jackson. I think that was the name. Um, so if you guys entered the contest and if you posted, 
um, on the on the part where I said, tell me what you like about HOV to enter the contest, and you didn't go back and check to see if you were a winner, um, definitely go back and check that so that you will you'll know when I do that, okay? Just please try to remember that or else it's just gone gone by the because I'm not going to choose a second winner it's um it's it's you're lucky or you're not you want you feeling lucky punk you're lucky or you're not that's it all right you guys so that was fun I'm gonna leave your reading there definitely go over to my gumroad account the link is underneath and check out all the other readings if you're interested or if over the weekend you know you feel like you, you need a little more house of Virgo other than the weekend reading I leave you, you can go over and purchase some of those other readings. I'll be putting some up, some new ones as well. So you can um, have something for yourself. All right. And yeah, I will see you guys here. Thanks, mods and everybody in the chat for being here. You guys are great. Um, and I, again, I will see you all tomorrow night. Okay. Love you. Bye.